Like, I get it, the child sex traffickers yeah. going after them. That's awesome, that's great. But then also, if you support love and like yes. wanting to hear from everything like you're saying, you're also supporting a corporation that tears families apart from their kids and keeps them yeah. in dog kennels. N not a corporation. And I do encourage you to visit an ICE facility. They are- they oh. They, okay, they, yeah, they, no. First of all, they don't. The, the dog kennel thing is completely and totally untrue. Let me just. It's, okay, it's, wait, wait, wait. I've so, seen it firsthand. Okay. You, he's been the one. Okay, it, it's just not also, even close to me. Also, it's also if you go to one and you're like, "Hey, I'm coming to visit," it's just like when well, a health let. inspector comes to a company, you clean it up, right? Oh. You put it away. You put it. You, you put it in back. Yeah, like so. No, like, I, I definitely. Do. Again, I am a registered Republican. I, no, I know exactly what's why, going on. I've heard these arguments, yeah. and I know what you're saying. But, uh, let me tell you about just real quick. I understand that it's hard to see children being separated from their parents. No one wants to see that. But do you understand that a majority of these children do not want them, and that whole patch and release program actually put people that were trying to come here to just see work in more danger? And if we could actually fix the immigration problems together, then we could get more people here legally so that they're safe. Yeah, so a majority of the people being brought across the southern border were not related to the people that were being brought across. They were being sex trafficked. A porous southern border is a child sex trafficker's paradise. Sounds like an overgeneralization. Well, it's, I, I it's actually, tens of I mean, you look at the data. Anna will tell you, she's worked against child sex trafficking. I actually really, I'm glad you guys are asking because there's a lot of people that don't want to talk on the topic of human sex trafficking because it's taboo. I, everyone here, it's in the modern read day the evil. 2018 human trafficking reports that the State Department puts out to see what's happening. Hey, y'all, well, this might be inflammatory. You should just not give them the attention. I, I, I totally disagree I with that. Discussion is what just like, it's like, not even politically like getting See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like I'm not yelling. Okay, so what if I said that's racist? Seriously. I mean like this is what Take your hat off. That's not this racist. has nothing to do with the race and everything to do with the rule of law. Immigration is about the rule of law. Immigration is about keeping the others out, even though this country was founded on genocide. Look, look, did you know that America takes in half the world's immigrants every single year? Do you know America brings in half the world's immigrants every single year? America is the most tolerant, multiracial country in the world. They want to be inflammatory. Do not support our, our invasion. This toxic, 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 toxic thing. We take in half of the world's immigrants every single year. Half. This is exactly what I'm talking about, is that we have lost our ability to have a conversation in this country. You immediately get called something that you're not, you challenge it with facts and dialogue, and then they walk away.